Hey everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how we can use one collapsing toolbar layout and one toolbar in one navigation graph. So for the first fragment we have this collapsing toolbar that we created in our last video and if I click on the second then it opens this second fragment and here we'll add one toolbar. The first thing we need to do is to go to this fragment second. This is the XML file for the second fragment. So here I'm gonna add one toolbar. So the width of the toolbar is it's it's match parent and for the height I'm gonna use rep content. And also let me give one background here. The background is color primary and finally let me give one ID. So let me give one ID here. Toolbar. Now let me restart that. Now if I click on second, then you can see that this toolbar is showing. But here we don't have this back button. So for that we need to uh, assign this toolbar to this uh, graph so for that the first thing is to go to this second fragment inside this on create view so here we will get the nav controller first so for the nav controller we can use find nav controller method and we need to use one app configuration, app bar configuration. So for that, I'm gonna create one app bar configuration object. So here we can pass the nave controller graph, nav controller dot graph. So it represents the graph that this nav controller is. So that means this main graph. Now let's get the toolbar. So view dot find view by ID view dot find view by ID so this of type toolbar r dot id dot toolbar and finally we can give uh, we can set up this toolbar with the nav controller so for that we need to use toolbar dot set up with nav controller first variable is the nav controller and the second variable is the app bar config okay this is not inside this on create view i need to call it in on view created so let me create this on view created and here before the super i need to call this now let me restart that now if i click on second then you can see that fragment second this is opening and if i click on this back button this back button is showing here there is one issue that i found so just check the title of this fragment first if i click on it then you can see that for like for a millisecond of time it changes to this second fragment title so this is the i think this is a problem with the library and maybe in future release google will make one update and fix it but for now to avoid this you can just take the reference of the toolbar inside this own view created and you can assign the title currently the toolbar is taking the title from inside this main graph so from this level it is picking the title so let me remove the level and if i go to this first fragment then on create view i can get that i can access the toolbar here toolbar equal to view dot find view by id toolbar it's android x r dot id dot toolbar so here i can set the title toolbar dot set title so suppose it is first fragment and also we can get the activity activity as app comfort 
activity and here we can assign this toolbar is supported action bar so i need to write set support action bar toolbar and the same thing i need to do in the second fragment as well so if i go to the second fragment and inside on create view i can uh, second fragment yeah we can also use this setter method uh, instead of the setter method we can directly change this title property and let me restart it now now if i click second then you can see that this blinking is gone this issue you will not face if you are using only toolbar for different fragments it will be only if you are using one collapsing toolbar on one fragment and for the other fragment you are using only toolbar that's all for now if you love this video please subscribe to my channel and also if you have any questions please drop one comment below Thanks. Bye.